Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back. Now, if you've had a truck or another vehicle of some sort, and for example, right, let's take a pickup truck. If you had that, you can use it for a couple of different things. One, just to travel anywhere, whether it be you, your family, your friends, or if you have some luggage, whether it be stuff you get from your store, you have some space you want to put it, you can put it in the back on the bed. Now, the pickup truck, it serves two purposes at once, which is once you can put stuff in the back, such as any luggage or cargo or boxes or whatever that can fit and is stable, and it can carry passengers at the same time. Now, there are aircraft in the world that can do the same thing, but there's probably an aircraft that you haven't heard of, or you may have, but didn't know how many uses it does. Now, I'm talking about the Pilatus PC-12. Now, the PC-12, it was introduced in the 1990s, and it was intended to create a high-performance turboprop aircraft that maintained short pitch takeoff and landing performance, meaning it can take off from short runways, and even if the runway isn't uh, concrete, whether it be a gravel runway or a dirt runway, or sand even, it can still take off. Now, the PC-12, it has six different uses, with six different capabilities that can be used and are used in today's world. Now, you may be wondering, why aren't they? So, we'll get into it right now without further ado. So, the first is air ambulance. Now, you obviously know there are helicopters that act as ambulances where if an accident happens and someone needs to be airlifted to a hospital, a helicopter can come take that person to the hospital if need be. Same thing with the PC-12. Now, obviously, it, the air ambulance version or the medical version can be used to transport sick or injured people if need be. Now, you may ask, yeah, but isn't there hospitals in town? Well, there are, but there are some places around the world that the place that people live in doesn't have a direct access to a hospital, so they need to be transported either by helicopter or aircraft. Now, cars sometimes would take too long, and if the injuries are serious enough, the person can pass. But if it's an aircraft or a helicopter that can go and land at that remote place which has no hospital, like PZ-12, then the person or people who are injured or sick can be transported to a hospital in a proper town to get the proper attention they need. Now, this is only the first because, as I said, it has the ability to land on short runways and take off from short runways, and it can land on grass fields, sand fields, so it doesn't have to be a concrete runway for it to land, which makes it very versatile to use. And it's operated by a couple help, big well-known health organizations, health organizations around the world, such as the Red Cross, who have or have a couple PC twelves they use as I said for ambul air ambulance which is to transport the sick or injured people to a hospital if the place they live in doesn't have direct access. Now, on to the second role it does is commercial aircraft. Now, we all see commercial aircraft and each airline is different. There are airlines that have wide range from uh, aircraft that can fly international all the way down to turboprops. Now, Apart from just the regular regional or small, very small airports, the PC-12, it can go and fly in and out of remote areas that don't have much visitors. And what I mean by this is just towns um, in northern Canada, Alaska, that's uh, used there to where it's not much people, but rather a bit more cargo, but can still land take off in those, uh, from those places including if it's like even freezing condition it still has a capability which makes it one of the uh, a very unique aircraft especially for the small to mid range mid range or like mid-sized aircraft that can fly in out of extreme conditions without a problem so they can deliver the goods to very remote towns that can only get their like food medicine stuff like that only from the air because there's a couple of towns like in Canada as well as in Alaska where um, they only have or the way they get their supplies is through aircraft and 
Alaska Airlines actually one of, they have a milk run where it's five stops and all in that stops apart from passengers there's also foods medicines that are taken as cargo as well uh, to keep that town going because that's mostly the only way they're able to get resources in because the road there might not be proper roads that lead to the town or anything like that now the third role or capability that the pg-12 has is charter and private services now you all know private planes and business planes the what they're meant to use for obviously it's not recurring times like commercial airliner but specific times so let's just say if someone had a business meeting or has to go somewhere quickly for work from one place to another the, the aircraft like the pc-12 are used in order to take them there because as I said right private and charter flights they're only meant for specific time and day and it's not like commercial airline where they have two or three flights daily to and from a specific place so this is the third application that the pc-12 is used and the business and private jets are a wide range but the pc-12 comes in handy again because apart from being able to land on regular concrete runways you can still land on runways that are like grass runways or sand runways or gravel so that ruggedness allows it to be very versatile and anything like that now the fourth uh, role that it carries is or does is a vip military vip transport now the u.s air force has a couple pg-12s that it uses for military vip transport and it's similar to charger transports because it's a specific time as a very few people and especially when it comes to military uh important military officials stuff like that to go from base to base or place to place depending on the meeting order whatever tasks and work they have that day is now as i said the u.s air force has a couple that they use uh today so that's the fourth row now coming to the fifth role, which is search and rescue or SAR. Now obviously apart from the PC-12 you have helicopters, but it, the PC-12 since it's turbo prop, right? It can fly at a slower speed than a jet so that it doesn't stall. Meaning a jet can fly at slow speeds, but it can't fly too slow or else it'll stall. But since the PC-12 is turbo prop, it can fly at that low speed without having the possibility of stalling. Which is good especially if they're finding lost people after a disaster like a lost hiker or the lost crewman of boat that capsized or the boat's lost at sea and the crewmen are drifting or something like that pc-12 can help in the search and rescue missions because it can be equipped with camera underneath so that the people the crew inside apart from the pilots can see how the terrain is and see if they can spot like lost tiger or the lost crewman from the boat and apart from all this it has surveillance and reconnaissance operations too meaning it can as it says it can essentially spy if need be because another thing is apart from the u.s air force having the military version the vip transport version they also have a u.s air force special reconnaissance where there's a modified pc-12 with sensors cameras antennas all that sorts of need for reconnaissance mission cameras as well so a couple are used and it's again with its short takeoff and landing capability it's very helpful because as i've been mentioning it doesn't need a only just pay runway takeoff land it can also go from grass strips as well as sand strips if need be so that versatility makes it what it is and the final capability role it has is cargo as cargo plane so it has a different size door depending on the cargo so it can you can either uh, do it to where you have like small handout boxes that you can carry in stack or have a big door open so that way you can put in pallets like you'll see on any cargo aircraft like ups or fedex when they're putting the pallets it has that option too to where you can put pallets on them as well as just how i uh, set out the example at stars video if 
it can carry passengers and cargo which makes it unique and can get it or whoever orders it can get it based on the company's customers and their needs so that's just six different roles that's done by the Pilatus PC12 and thanks so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and see you next time